give us a break. Don't try anything you're about to see us do at home. Supposing you're silly enough to tailgate a truck, would this dangerous stunt really improve your gas mileage? Tory, Grant and Carrie's wind tunnel tests have given this myth the thumbs up, in theory. That is so much more than I expected. But what about in practice? Time to go full scale. We should drive at different distances behind the truck. We'll start at 100 feet and move our way up to 2 feet and see if we save fuel as we get closer to the truck. 2 feet seems really dangerous. Who's going to drive? I think Grant should do it because he just had his middle name legally changed to Danger. Grant Danger Imahara. I like the sound of that. The Mythbusters also like the look of the impressive beast they've lined up for their full-scale test at the Portland, Oregon headquarters of one of America's leading rig makers, Freightliner. We've got this new Cascadia Freightliner here. It took 2,500 hours to shape the aerodynamics of this truck to make it the most fuel-efficient truck in the world. It's a brand new truck, and we're anxious to get it out on the track again and uh, help you with that myth. Test engineer Matt Mark Stoller reckons drafting is suicidal, especially considering how many blind spots are on a big rig. But he's agreed to help out under controlled conditions. Which include a thorough workout for Grant. Under the tutelage of Hollywood stunt driver Mike Ryan. We actually want to build all the way up to a two-foot distance between us and the truck. How dangerous is something like that? Um, definitely, definitely something you don't want to encourage people to do. I mean, I think the statistic is about three-fourths of all the truck accidents in the world that involve a car and a semi-truck that have a fatality were caused by the person driving the car. It's pretty scary. So what I'm going to do right now is put a line across the track. That's going to be their starting point. I'm going to drive down a quarter of a mile, put another mark. Then we're going to have a half a mile to see how much fuel is being used. It's on this half mile of track that the team will measure Grant's fuel consumption. And that's test engineer Andrew Smith's department. What we've got here is our data acquisition system, and we're hooked up to the fuel injection system. In fact, what we're doing is exactly the same as if we were physically measuring the fuel that's going to the engine. We're recording all of that, and we can compare when we're behind the big rig and when we're not. Once the fuel gauge is in place, Grant will make several runs behind the rig at 55 miles an hour, working his way incrementally from 100 feet down to 2 feet. But first up, it's the baseline. This will be our control test. I'm going to drive along. I'm going to measure data for half a mile. I'll see how much fuel I'm using with nothing in front of me. With Andrew riding shotgun, Grant puts the pedal to the metal. Okay, approaching drag strip. Holding at 55. Still holding at 55. Approaching the stop. That's it. Andrew crunches the numbers, and it turns out that driving at 55 miles per hour on the test track gave a fuel consumption of 32 miles per gallon. Will drafting really cause an increase in MPG? We're going to do it at 100 feet, 50 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet, and 2 feet, which I consider somewhat suicidal if you were driving on the highway. Three, two, one, go. Grant starts out at a distance of 100 feet behind the truck, but even this is considered outside the safety zone for most road authorities, who recommend at least 150 feet between vehicles traveling at 55 miles per hour. Crossing the finish line now. Okay, so that was a good run at 100 feet, maintain a constant distance at 55 miles per hour. And the result is pretty dramatic. With 100 feet between car and rig, fuel consumption improved by over 10 percent. Next, Grant gets back up to 55 miles an hour and closes the gap to 50 feet. We're going to hold this speed and collect your data now. With this size gap, fuel consumption improved by 20 percent on the control. Grant moves in even closer to 20 feet. This is starting to get hairy. Starting to approach that blind spot. I can't see 
20 feet, the slipstreaming effect of tailing the truck has improved fuel efficiency by an amazing 27%. But what about tailgating a big rig at 10 feet? It's getting dangerous now, and that's how we like it. Later. That is crazy. Grant earns his stunt driver stripes the crazy way. That was crazy. When driving behind a big rig, if you're too close to see the truck's mirrors, then the truck driver can't see you. That's why drafting is so dangerous, not to mention illegal. But as Carrie, Tori, and Grant have found out, this suicidal driving technique does increase your miles per gallon. At a drafting distance of 20 feet, the team has seen their fuel efficiency increase dramatically. But Grant Danger Imahara laughs in the face of his middle name. With Mike riding shotgun, okay, I'm buckling up. <laughs> he's going to tailgate a truck at 10 feet. I think if you were going to try to draft a big rig at 10 feet behind them, you are completely mental. Even in, in a controlled situation, it's really, really scary. We're ready. All right, let's go in three, two, one, go. Go. The recommended driver reaction time for this speed is two seconds, meaning 150 feet between vehicles. We're still with you. At 10 feet, Grant's reaction time is down to almost a tenth of a second. Sweet driving, Grant. Okay, returning to the start. It may be madness, but the stats don't lie. With a distance of 10 feet between car and truck, fuel efficiency improves by almost 40%. But this myth ain't over yet, as Grant prepares to draft at the insane distance of two feet. At two feet, one miscalculation, and our myth buster will be six feet under. This is it. The car is two feet behind the truck, and they're going to be traveling at 55 miles an hour. I mean, this is nuts. I'm a little freaked out right now. I mean, we did a lot of training, but that was with a minivan. This is a big rig. All right, you ready? Let's do it. All right, man. I'll see you on the other side. It was nice knowing. What's not nice knowing is if the rig has to stop suddenly, Grant will have three one hundredths of a second to react, faster than the blink of an eye. Two, one, go. Okay, here we go. I can't even see Grant. Just hit 55. What's your 20, little buddy? We're uh, three feet out and closing. Just bringing it on in. Oh, you were totally in our blind spot, completely riding us. Matt, at the wheel of the big rig, can't see Grant's vehicle at all. That is crazy. Yeah, boy. And he just crossed it. Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, my God. That was crazy. <laughs> I mean, how much gas am I going to save? Well, the result comes with a twist. Up until now, every time Grant's vehicle moved closer, fuel efficiency increased. But at two feet, it went down. The fuel economy actually dropped off a little bit. And I think the reason was there was such little air drag at that point. It was so hard to keep that two feet distance that the, you were always kind of feathering the throttle, getting on the throttle, backing off, and so that actually hurts fuel economy when I, a really steady foot. So apart from nervous footwork on the accelerator, when Grant drove like a maniac, it looks like drafting, as dangerous as it is, does improve fuel efficiency after all. But really, it's just not worth risking your life. <laughs>